I'll catch up on sleep when I die. I'll power through and grind it out. This seems like the sentiment of majority of the millennials and the hustlers today. In this video, we talk sleep. What brings about processes of sleep? What are the stages of sleeping and why we get less of it? And last but not least, how much of sleep is appropriate? So what is sleep? Sleep may seem as simple as closing your eyes. There's three cardinal features for sleep. Number one, the timing, when you wake up and go to sleep. Number two, the intensity, how effectively you'll fall into deep and REM sleep. And number three, duration, how long you sleep. A model that explains sleep very well is the two process sleep and wake model. The sleep-wake cycle is regulated by two different biological mechanisms, sleep-wake homeostasis and circadian rhythm. So the first part of the two process model is sleep-wake homeostasis. Basically, this is part of the process where sleep in Using chemicals are accumulated in the brain. It is a internal biochemical reaction that drives and tells the brain when you need to sleep, specifically after you've been awakened for a certain amount of time. Second one, circadian process, also known as process C. It's the regulation of the body's internal bio biological processes and the alertness level. This is what controls the timing of sleep and it coordinates the dark light cycle of day and night. Your circadian rhythm is what regulates your sleeping pattern, feeding patterns, core body temperature, brainwave activity, and hormonal production over 24 hours. To put it very simply, the first part of the process is the pressure for you to fall asleep. And the second part of the process is how your daily sleep rhythm works. We wouldn't be talking about sleep without mentioning melatonin. This is one of the key players in how you feel sleepy and how you get quality sleep. Melatonin production and release is connected to the time of the day. The darker the environment, the larger the amount of production. So usually after 8 p.m. you will see a spike in melatonin, which is also known as the calming hormone because that's the signal for your, your body and yourself to get to sleep. Now let's talk about the stages of sleep because not all stages or all sleep is equal. So the first stage of non-REM stages is when you feel half asleep and have some of the awareness of the surrounding. This is also called as a stage N1. Probably you can relate because this is the time when you involuntarily jerk or kick. N2, which is the second stage of non-REM sleep. This is a slighter, deeper version of sleep and you spend majority of your sleep in this stage. The final stage of non-REM sleep, N3. Deep slow sleep where your core temperature has dropped and your melatonin production is going strong. And the final stage, REM, rapid eye movement. Sleep is when most dreaming occurs. In REM, muscles completely relax and the mind and the body regenerate at an amazing rate. Only about a quarter of your daily sleep is in REM, but it is vitally important. There's a bigger problem at hand that we need to tackle. It's the growing and increasing tendency to get less and less sleep in the current society. And guess what? We're getting 20% less sleep than 40 years ago. But another key thing we miss is the quality of sleep. As far with sleep, both quality and quantity plays a crucial role. So let's figure out why the quality and quantity of sleep has deteriorated. Number one, ease of streaming. Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, Amazon TV, 150 million subscribers just from Netflix. We have numerous methods of access to media online. You finish your nine to five job, put your feet up and turn on autoplay. You don't even have to get up to press a button until you just fall asleep on the couch. Number two, technological interference. Constant notification and phone pickups are another addictive feeling with over a billion Facebook users which are constantly exposed to small doses of gratification via the small computers we carry around with us and exposes us to blue lights, which suppresses the production of melatonin, which as mentioned before, regulates our sleep-wake cycle. Number three, alcohol consumption. Alcohol has made its way into most of our events in our lives. Alcohol has been linked to disrupting our circadian rhythm, reducing REM sleep and distorting bathroom habits. You know that feeling when you have to get up in the middle of the night to get rid of your last beer? 
or resulting in a lower quality of sleep and lack of rest. Number four, the hustle mentality. Working is important to get ahead of the game or give an edge at work or the exam that you have to push through with majority of motivational and successful people's verdicts focusing on hustle. We are absolute advocates of hustling too, but we are conscious to get quality sleep. We ensure we shave off the unproductive elements of our environment. There's a knock-on effect here. The less you sleep, the more prone you are to be ill, less productive, and even quicker to anger. Number five, food choices. Coupled with hustle and alcohol, food has taken a major hit. We don't eat a balanced diet which throws our hormones out of whack and impacts our sleep-wake homeostasis, affecting our ability to fall asleep and rest. In addition, the late night binging while watching your favorite TV show results in the body using about 80% of its energy digesting the food, not healing or regenerating. Number 6. Lack of activity no natural level of tiredness and balanced hormone profile to fall asleep as we spend majority of the time at the desk and the drive back eat and sleep. As a safe bet, adults should aim to get around seven to nine hours of sleep and not under and not above because undersleeping and oversleeping have negative impact on your health, which we will cover in the next videos. Ultimately, stick to a routine and first and foremost, listen to your body. Sometimes you will need more and sometimes you will function with just a little. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for sticking around and we hope you found it useful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.